Hello and welcome to another edition of For the Record. I'm Sean Murphy. We are out on location today. If you remember a show we did a while back with Ralph Acosta and his Stone Eagle studio, we actually had him come into our studio to do a little painting. But, you know, it, we, we felt a little rushed and we didn't want to have Ralph rush. And we thought it would be much more picturesque if we came out to Stone Eagle Studio in Stonington, Connecticut, and uh, just experience Ralph in his natural surroundings and uh, have him do a little <laughs> painting for us today. So first of all, thank you for having us in your studio and in your home today. Oh, thank you for coming. Now, let's get a little background on you before we start. You're a native New Yorker. You actually started out in New York and you made your way to the countryside of Stonington. So talk about that a little bit. Yeah, I was born in, uh, in Manhattan. Uh, matter of fact, the hospital closed down. It's, it was uh, St. Vincent's. And, uh, you know, lived in the Bronx and got married and lived in, in, in Queens and bought a house in Connecticut. And, and you've been an artist the whole time. No, not really. I, I, I think in around uh, 79, I kind of switched over and tried to uh, do something in the art field because I was uh, an insurance broker. And I thought it was uh, not very good for me. I, not, I was not very happy. Right. And I decided to go full time. And, and here we have uh, Stone Eagle Studio. And uh, we'll show you some shots of the studio and, <clears throat> and, um, and uh, give you an opportunity to see what Ralph does. But Ralph, right now, uh, you're a painter, you're an artist, you, you teach classes, you have people in. Talk about that a little bit. Yeah, uh, well, in the city, uh, in New York City, I, I taught uh, all over Long Island, part of the city. Uh, I did uh, workshops, I did classes, three-hour classes, did demonstrations for art leagues. And now I come up here and I wanted uh, to do the same thing, but I needed a studio. Mm -hmm. uh, and, I, and I got my dream. I built this post and beam. Uh, it's attached to my house. And uh, I said, I have, I have to build this before it would be too late. So yeah, here I am in, in my own little studio, man cave, everything here. Right. But it's also <laughs> a studio for students to come and, and for people to learn. And one of the things we talked about off the air was uh, people to de-stress. And art is yeah. fantastic for that. I actually don't want to hold you up. An artist should be working on his art or painting. So as we, I'll, I'll allow you to begin, and we'll talk while you're doing, but let's talk about what we're gonna do, at least for the first show today. Well, I, 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 everybody likes Lighthouse. Sure. So I figure I'll do a, a, a Lighthouse really quick. Uh, like I said, I, I, I came from New York, also Long Island, and a place I used to go to and do a little painting, it's a uh, Fire Island Lighthouse. Beautiful. So yeah. I figure we will do, hopefully, uh, a quick impression of Fire Island, and with lots of color, uh, more impressionistic, not tight, right. and uh, hopefully that will work out. All right, so let's start and, and talk, and maybe okay. you can kind of tell us what's going on here. All right. This, so well, I kind of, I, I put this plus sign. It's like perspective, yeah, is that? and I allocate where um, things are going to start. It's, I'm going to have a large sky, so I, uh, I'll, I'll bring it down to right here, mm -hmm. or I have a large foreground. I'll bring the horizon up here. Uh, try to stay out of the middle. Like, in other words, if I'm going to put the lighthouse, you never put it in the middle. It never. breaks, the, no. breaks yep. the painting in half. So it's going to be offset. Part of the, the building next to the lighthouse is going to break into the right size. So it's not, you know, completely empty here. So, okay, so what we're going to have, I want to do something dramatic. And hopefully it will come out. It just, here's a, this is, it's going to be, you have a smaller foreground. We're going to have the lighthouse here, and uh, we're going to have the buildings uh, right in here. And I'm really, I'm not a very tight painter. I'm kind of... Uh, more abstract kind no, of? No, really more impressionistic, very okay. loose. Uh, so uh, you're going to see very loose uh, drawing. Um, so I remember the main building is a really large building here, and uh, the 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 lighthouse itself it's really unique. Mm -hmm. It has it has a, like a curve in the middle, so and it's pretty pretty large. So it's let's say it starts here. This is the center, and it, it has this curve. It comes in. It, this it's, way. it's long and skinny, not yeah. unlike a traditional lighthouse, which right. is a little little fatter. Right? Yeah. And yeah. It, and, and it, Puffs out right, toward at the, the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. This one it has uh, almost like a uh, has a 
It's like a tube. A you know? tube with a little wine sort of neck, and it has a long sort of um, uh, light fixture on top. Where the beacon. The beacon yeah. is, yeah. And it's a, and this is from your uh, Fire Island fire. Uh, like like this is from your childhood or your younger, your earlier uh, days, right? No, no. This is uh, basically, um, uh, uh, yeah, in my in my play day when I was in my in my twenties and thirties. That's everybody. Where we day. went yeah. uh, bouncing all over the place. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, and uh, the disco time and you know all kinds of right. kind of dating myself, you know. And I still loved the dancing music. Right. We'll save the dancing for another show, though. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> um, so now, what are you doing here when you're kind of like rubbing it like that? Well, I just, I'm taking all the, the, the lines, uh, okay. excess lines off, and uh, hopefully um, we are just kind of, hopefully getting the a balance here in the, um, the lighthouse. Let me see this if this is going to work here. Uh, we're going to have um, some foliage uh, Depending on right. what time of year is it will be determined by what you use yeah, for yeah, it's, it's, foliage yeah. well, scenery. It, we're going to have green foliage, but it, it's going to be, uh, I'm not going to guarantee everything. It's going to be wild. I'm, I'm kind of, I paint by the seat of my pants. Right. And every time I touch the, pa uh, the paint and touch the paper. It's different. It, it's completely you, different. That's I a mean, good thing, I think, though. Yeah, so, uh, so this is um, greenery uh, right in here. It's already looking like a lighthouse, and yeah. we haven't even got to the paint yeah. yet. <laughs> so, we, and then we're gonna have like uh, I think I'm not too sure. It ha I, I don't remember too much of it. It had a pier. There's a, you're, you're guaranteed there's gonna be some water though if you're talking uh, about a lighthouse, right? Um, not no, the water's gonna be probably right in front okay. here. Okay. Uh, and there's your dock. The dock right here, mm -hmm. and um, we're gonna have it moving this way. And water here and planks. It's wooden. Yeah, wooden planks right there. Uh, this is pretty good right off the cuff. I'll okay, tell you. that's uh, all right. So pretty that's a fast, basic huh? idea. Yeah. Okay, so I, you know, I'm known for my two-inch brush. I've done many things with this brush. Uh, brush I won, on, um, in a. a Art, uh, it, it's a Grumbacher. I won this uh, in an art show. By the way, didn't and, you just recently win a re uh, an award in an art contest? Uh, was it Mystic? Is that oh, last year I okay. won Best in Show. Okay. In the uh, Outdoor Mystic Show. Very nice. Not, not only that, out of uh, five years, I won uh, four awards. Very nice. I won first prize, second prize, third prize, and last year it was Best in Show. One thing we always allow on this show is to, for people to brag about their trophies, their awards, their accomplishments, so knock yourself yeah. out. One of the things I remember from the, from the first show that you and I did in our studio was you, were, you talked about two different kinds of paints, right? Oh, I uh, and I can't remember the kinds you were talking about, two watercolors and then maybe something else. Mm. Um, but because uh, we did two different and, and we kind of had a rush a little bit so I'm very glad that you'll have more time to be able to oh you're to, probably talking about I did two one a warm painting that's and a exact, cool painting there you go that's exactly yeah. it you're yeah. absolutely right I mean I'm talking Colors. about dominance uh, you know the dominance here it's probably going to be uh, I want it warm also because okay. I want it because I want it to be it's going to be hot today's a hot day here that we're taping for and, sure and yeah. I'm going to make it even hotter <laughs> you know? so uh, we're going to just kind of um, uh, introduce uh, it's going to be maybe uh, the sun is setting okay or the sun is coming that's up. always a beautiful uh, picture so we're going to just kind of put all this beautiful color uh, Yellow. This is lemon yellow. And I noticed you purposely didn't touch the lighthouse itself. That's the no, one thing. No, I want thing. to keep that. Even though um, the lighthouse, um, it's part of it. It's going to be dark, and it, and it really doesn't matter. Because of the matter. way the sun's hitting it, right? Yeah, it, it really doesn't matter. Right. I can, I can, I can, I can uh, put some color in there. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, and we're going to repeat that yellow down here. Um, then we're going to have a little, with the yellow, mixing a yellow and a, some blue, it turns into a green, sort mm -hmm. of a yellowish green. And that gives you your foliage? Is that what I'm you're I'm going to start about? making light foliage right in here. See how that kind of yep. 
falls into place right there. So we're starting we're to get gonna, an idea of what time of year it is. Yeah, it's right? gonna, it looks like spring, mm -hmm. uh, but it, it might change any moment. Like you said, every time you throw paint on a <laughs> yeah, canvas, I'm it could always, be something different. I'm always moving around and doing something different. Um, Darker, so just to kind of give it yeah. some. And uh, let me do some more on the sky. Okay. Um, I'm going to take a little ochre, yellow ochre, and we're going to, let me clean that brush a little bit more. And, uh, oops, there's a color we didn't want. <laughs> well, like you said, every yeah. time you put the brush yeah. to the canvas, it, something it different can happen. Everything changes. Yep. Okay, let's, well, we can c cover that up a bit. And it's a good thing about, you know, a good artist, you can cover something up if you want to make a change to colors, right? You yeah, can we can, we can um, change um, uh, the colors, and especially watercolor. We can, we can add a little more water. I'll, uh, a lot of people say, we, I, I don't use white, I'm a purist. So, but water, some watercolors do, watercolor painters use white paint. Uh, but I, I, I don't, I kind of refuse it. I, I What's the reason you don't like it? And no, the white paint it keeps, it, instead of having that nice light uh, transparency, mm -hmm. it, you put white, it gives it a heaviness. Right, like so a flat. So I'd rather, I'd rather save my, my, my white paper than uh, okay, I got having you. that. But it, it, there's a time and place for that. I noticed, mm -hmm. this is what you were talking about before, part of the lighthouse is covered, and you can tell that that's how the, you know, the sun is hitting it. Look the at this. Look at this. I, I just yep. have, I like to have really yep. fun right here. This is, uh, not, really, I, nothing really bothers me in concerning, especially painting upright like I am now. You're talking about in the sky and stuff yeah, like no, that? No, well, painting, uh, the uh, okay. watercolors paint on a, on a table usually, and uh, they have more control that way. Okay, so it wouldn't drip on the table the way that you have it on a yeah, easel. This yeah. is, uh, the colors get lighter because mm -hmm. uh, the gravity takes its course and right. it just drips down. And I got a, really a, a accustomed to um, just to... Um, to being able to have it touch it up yeah, because you were so used to it, right? Yeah, I'm used to uh, letting it happen. You get these nice, happy accidents. Mm -hmm. um, and um, let me see. See, I got a little color right here, a little sh schmear there. And again, this is, this is uh, really starting to tell a story about the time of day it is, the time of year it is because of the, the foliage and what's that looking like, but, all, but more importantly, the time of day it is, like almost like a sunset, right? Right, yep. yeah, just, we're just gonna. Yeah, just having fun with it. Right. And the whole thing about this, sometimes I'm having so much fun, Throwing like all the time starts wasting, and I'm taking more time than I should. I should leave it alone. And we're doing you know, good on time, so take okay. your time. Right. Um, so um, I just like a lot of color, just kind of empty those colors right out and just look at it and see what's happening there. Um, maybe, uh, do you ever do anything in the sky like a bird or anything like oh, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I a lot of times when we, I, I, well. Not purposely sometimes. Uh, but happy some, accidents, right? Uh, happy accidents, yeah. like a little, a little spot or something like that, it turns into a, a bird. <laughs> and you weren't yeah. even planning it, yeah, right? Yeah, not even yeah. planning it. Yeah. Uh, I probably could remove it, but I tend to It, it maybe, worked. Yeah, yeah, it was, a, like you said, a happy accident. It worked. And again, you're purposely kind of staying away from the, the what do you call the, the bottom of the lighthouse, the, like the, you know, that's right next to it, adjacent to it, uh, connected to it. That building, like that and the, most of the lighthouse itself, you're kind of leaving alone. Yeah, I'm trying, I want some clean color to happen there. Right. Um, so that it shows off more, right? Yeah, this way I have a nice sparkle uh, of white. I want some white. Uh, and my center of interest is going to be the lighthouse and the building. So right. this is, uh, and, and when you're doing a center of interest, it should have your darkest darks, your lightest lights, your brightest colors, and texture in front and back. This way you always focus on that, no matter what you have, because everything going on. else is less. When you create a painting like this, 
and let, let's say you decide to put it on the wall, I know you want the, the center of interest to be the lighthouse itself, but do you want people to really look at the entire painting, to, to look at the background, to see what's going on in oh, the sure. sky and on the ground oh, and on, sure. the, on the dock and the water? You know, sure. you want them to be able to look and see and study everything, even though the lighthouse is designed to be the center of interest. Sure. You know? um, I, I do want that, and um, I just, just want a nice little movement mm -hmm. coming across here. Get some color in there. Yep, and it's kind of showing you a little bit more that you're on the water maybe a little bit. Yeah. The wind maybe is blowing. Let's get some... Um, Water right down here. Okay, and nothing, nothing makes says water like blue. Yeah, right. And and that can change any minute. <laughs> <laughs> uh, because we have to. One thing is when you have a lot of color up there, you're going to have to bring it down here to have some balance to it. Right. That's almost blend in a way. Yeah. 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 We can blend it. We can just throw a little red in there or or more. Um, And um, let me um, get a little towel here. If you notice where it's not wet, this white area. Yep. The, the, Which is the house itself. The house itself, the paint is not penetrating the, that white unless it's a lot of water and it goes right, right. through. But even, this would work even better if you were on a flat table, what you normally do. But you are so well used to doing it on, uh, uh, on an easel that, uh, right. that it works out for you. You're able to handle it. Right now, really, the only things that aren't touched are the house and the dock for the most part. And uh -huh. some of the lighthouse. So we're gonna get uh, some movement here of. And this is pretty much just ground, right? The, ground. the grounds. And let me see. Uh, get some dark movement here. Right, and then the water really starts to to show that you're right on the shoreline. Okay. And I'll just laying this in. It's still dripping. A little right bit, yeah. Usually I, I'll, I'll just flip it around or I'll just, I have my hair blower and um, just dry it up. And that's a, and a, uh, and a hair dryer, a blower is like an artist's tool now, isn't it, to dry the yeah. canvas, yeah. Especially on a, like a very damp day like it is now, you know, or nothing humid. dry. Yeah, humid, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, now, do you have to keep the studio cool for that reason too, you know, for humidity when purposes? It's, it's, yeah, it, 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 yeah, my, my, uh, it, it still don't help that much. <laughs> you know? As much as you try. Yeah, huh? no matter what. Um... So what we're going to do now is just get a smaller brush and um, get some detail in here. Now we're working on the house itself on that's the, next um, to the lighthouse. This will really bring this out now. Right. And this is kind of like an outline. Just kind of paint it in. Is this a typical um, portrait of uh, maybe what your students would work on? Do you do you do they start out with something less complicated, or do you kind of ask them what they want to start with first, or how does it work with you? I know it's a th like a, a typical class would be like say three hours, right? Right. Talk about that a little bit. Your classes while you're painting. Uh, usually about about three hours and. I'll do, um, we'll do uh, some kind of um, like stretching exercise. By, what I mean by that, we do, we get uh, small pieces of paper and we do, we just touch the paper with color and, and get them used to laying uh, color uh, to the paper and using, uh, uh, and try not to get muddy and, and really work and break break them into getting used to using the brush and using water because water is the white we don't use white right you want your colors to be lighter you add more water even on the paper it would just get lighter so um uh can a person have no 
our, you know, what they would consider artistic ability and still come in and paint and take lessons and get something out of it? Oh, most of my students uh, come in that way. Have, have no artistic, in no. their minds, ability, and probably in your judgment as, a, as an expert, a professional, an artist. But that's okay, right? It's, that's good, okay. it's good therapy for them in one respect, and, and uh, they can get something out of it. You know? No, it's, it's, uh, it's wonderful therapy. They, they, people come to take classes for all kinds of different reasons. Um, but uh, one of the, the factors everybody gets out of it is they, it's, uh, it's, it's a therapy. It relaxes them. They forget about what's going, out, going on. And it's, uh, it's really something they, they should be doing home also. They kind of... Right. Their own therapy at home. Right. As people uh, are, are learning that they can take classes from you, I want you to uh, give them the opportunity to uh, go to your website and also maybe a phone number so that they can, uh, may, if they're interested in taking classes or maybe taking a tour of your, your studio or just learning more from you. How do they get a hold of you? Um, I have, a, you know, a, a face, a, a face uh, Facebook page. Facebook page. Mm -hmm. uh, I also do a, a demonstration on... Uh, YouTube? Yeah, you've YouTube got, a, you've got a, a demonstration video on YouTube. Right. Stone Eagle Studio. By the way, what we're going to also do is put up a graphic uh, so that they can uh, go to the website and maybe call you if they want to, and they can just get more detailed information from you, too. Uh, and we're on in Rhode Island, and we're on in Connecticut. Just because of the, the studio location, Stonington, Stone Eagle Studio is just perfect for people to uh, from either direction to come on over and learn more. Just have a few more minutes left in this show. Oh, it's almost uh, so, over? You know, yeah, just in this show. If you wanted to do a different painting in our, our second show. And, but it's really time? coming together now. How much time do I have? Uh, about, I would say, you know, a few more minutes. A few more okay. minutes. All right, talk too much. <laughs> no, no, that's what the show is all about. And people are gazed on the, on the, uh, on the, uh, the, the portrait right now. About five minutes, I'd say. You got about okay. five minutes. So we'll be able to wrap this up. And it's looking, it's really coming together now. You know, now you're getting into the, you, you, the background and the, 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 the big stuff, the sky, the foliage, the water. That was first, and mm -hmm. now we're doing the touch-up stuff, the house, the lighthouse, the dock itself. And again, what did you call this, impressionist? It's more imp okay. impressionist. It's not, it's not yeah. very realistic, but it, we kind of... That's okay. I mean, you can definitely you uh, the, tell what it is. I'm, I'm trying to catch the essence of what I, what I feel and what mm -hmm. I see. And this, if you were to do this again, it would be, it could look very different. I mean, the, the things might be in the same locations, but, you know, maybe it, the time of day would be different, right? Anything. Right. It could be anything. If you, if you come to my studio, uh, you know, you, if you call and you can come and see not only the studio or take a lesson if, uh, lesson if you want, um, you can come and see, I have a gallery here, so you mm -hmm. can see uh, some of my paintings if you want. And kind of get an idea. When people come, when students come, what are some questions they ask you, and what are they looking to accomplish? Is someone learning? Is someone wanting to be an artist, or do they just want to? Is it a hobby for them? What are they looking for? All you different know, things. I, you know, it it it. Everything changes for somebody. Even myself, I I I looked at it. it it's only a hobby. To and start. It, the start, and right. it wind up being what I do for yeah. the rest of my life. <laughs> but it's something you love, so you can't, yeah, you know. Yeah, this is something. It's a passion. Better than uh, working on uh, being an insurance guy, that's oh, for sure, <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> that was uh, something. Now, when you look at, when you think of Fire Island, I mean, that, uh, that's an impression this particular time that you get, right? Right, yeah. this is, uh, well, this is the color. I, 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 I tell my, my students, uh, you know, one thing about what I do, I, I will do a painting uh, and I'll finish it in one day. And it could be a little more detailed if I had more time. Mm -hmm. uh, but um, this is how I feel today. Right. If I have to come back with this, um, do this painting again or finish it, I, I, I would n I would probably change it. Yep. And I'll finish it differently because i you wake up in the morning, you're just a different person. Right. So depends uh, on how your day's going. Yep. If a student mm. comes in, do you uh, do you encourage them to bring 
a picture or something that they want to paint, or would you prefer that they do it from memory so that it's like coming from the heart? No, or? that's that. I, I find that really tough. Yeah, a lot of people okay. do things by, by memory al alone. Yeah, you're um, right. You're right, about it. especially when they're students for the first time. Yeah, but you, they could bring something if you want uh, some help to do a certain a subject matter or something like that. You can you can always bring something. Ralph Acosta from Stone Eagle Studio. We're going to allow you to just continue uh, while we wrap up this show. See if I'm, yeah, take a peek at it. Take yeah. a bow and take a peek at yeah, it. Yeah, this is pretty and that's, much. That's, 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 that's your interpretation, an impressionist view of uh, Fire Island Firehouse. Um, and we're going to put, again, graphics up on the screen, uh, info for people if you want to want to uh, come and check out Ralph uh, Ralph's studio or maybe be, take a mm. lesson. Um, and so this is uh, show one, and we thank uh, Ralph for having us here. We'll take a break and be back for show number two. So in the meantime, thank you for joining us for another edition of For the Record. This show, by the way, and many others can be found on our YouTube site, so go and check that out too. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.